Hey everyone, Dave here. Uh, today is July 28th, 2019. This morning I released the uh, Gravity Falls Armchair Imagineering video. And by an astonishing coincidence, I actually happened to be in Oregon this weekend. So I thought, how better to celebrate a video about rebuilding a fictional Oregon tourist trap in California or Florida than by visiting a real Oregon tourist trap in Oregon. So we are checking out prehistoric gardens in Oregon's rainforest right off the 101. Let's go look at some dinosaurs. Prehistoric Gardens is a delightful pocket of rainforest filled with dinosaurs. It's right off this little middle of nowhere stretch of the 101. I gotta say, this part of the 101 is a lot more pleasant than the part that goes through downtown LA. It was built by Ernie Nelson and opened on New Year's Day 1955, about seven and a half months before a certain other tourist attraction credited to a single auteur. And while that one may have been bigger, this one is more realistically credited to a single man's vision. And it is still in his family to this day. As fans of both pretty nature walks and potentially goofy tourist traps, we knew we had to check this out. Allie, are you ready for the prehistoric gardens in Oregon's rainforest? <laughs> I have never been more stoked to see something in my entire life. <laughs> I'm glad they've got her in a cage. It's keeping us safe. Yep. I think they made this one anime eyes. Okay, so you guys will follow the path down the side of the building here and okay. stay to your right. Mm -hmm. And you'll be entering into an old growth rainforest. Okay. We have trees out here that are over 350 years old. Oh, wow. Yeah. Um, we do have some wobbly fences, mm -hmm. so just be aware of that and not lean up against them. Of course. Here's, um, here's the entrance to the park right here. All right. Cool. Okay. And our restrooms are right inside the building here. Awesome. All right. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. So Enjoy much. your walk. All right. The land of long ago, I can still remember. The replicas displayed in these prehistoric gardens are full-scale models of primitive, cold-blooded animals. It's very helpful that we get this refresher on what a dinosaur is. Yeah. Do you think that when we die in, like, the next generation of whatever comes around, there's going to be, like, pre-human historic parks or something like that? Well, if there's one thing I learned from the documentary Battlefield Earth by L. Ron <laughs> Hubbard... <laughs> this tree came from 25 million years ago. In the not Every word of that jingle was wrong. Yeah, I know. It's good to know that even the dinosaurs had very modern smoking laws. <laughs> so the dino tracks are kind of on the side, not so much on the trail itself, because yeah. then we might trip over them. This is a very cool, very big statue. I feel like Arm Lizard is uh, someone trying to describe Kermit the Frog. <laughs> Who's that guy, the, uh, the, the Arm Lizard? Yeah. Roll back the rock to the dawn of time When the earth was smoking and the lava flowed Roll back the rock to the dawn of time Yeah, why did those states get their own eras? Yeah. I mean, I understood the Pennsylvania Dutch is a very old and part of the world. It just amazes me how old it actually is. <laughs> Whenever you're driving down I-84 in Pennsylvania, just remember that all that land belongs to amphibians and insects. <laughs> so where to next on the map? Uh, well, this way's a dead end, so I guess we keep going back around this Brachiosaurus. I know these statues aren't animatronic, so, you know, they don't move, mm -hmm. but neither did the ones on the Jurassic Park ride towards the end of its run, so... It's, it, they're looking in pretty good shape. Yeah, they must keep these uh, pretty well uh, refurbed. Like, probably why it costs like 12 bucks a person to go in. They probably give these dinos a fresh coat of paint every couple of years. Yeah. Here's the thing, this trail would be gorgeous even without the dinosaurs. Yeah. Hey! Hey, Davey! <laughs> okay, yes, I'm very impressed by these statues and everything, but I, uh find just that block of teeth very funny. <laughs> the teeth look like dominoes. Yeah. Oh. Oh, hey, this guy snuck up on us. Dimetrodon. They ate sharks and were 10 feet long. <laughs> Babe, in front of you. Oh. <laughs> this, the snake face up there? Yeah, snake face. Is that the Pokemon? That, that, that is straight in Pokemon. Like, which, I can't remember which Pokemon is. Somebody in the comments, please re respond which Pokemon this is, because it looks really familiar. Oh, there is nothing my commenters love more than telling me about Pokemon that I don't know about. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that Pokemon?
the plant life story, Pixar's abandoned third movie. Out of the sea, the cradle of life. In the first one, that appeared on the land. These were the algae which began to move from the ancient seas to the sand and mudflats of the shore. These algae had no true root stems or leaves. It fell apart there. Root stems or leaves. Silo fighting. Fire! Which means naked plant. <laughs> it had no true roots or, or leaves and reproduced by spores. I think your parody song, Disease, is catching. <laughs> I'm sorry to infect you. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the one thing I do miss about like living kind of closer to a more woodsy area is that you don't get this kind of foliage out. Yeah, I love LA, genuinely not in a Randy Newman way, but I do miss the climates like this. Oh, the world famous Douglas fir. <laughs> Isn't he one of the founders of United Artists? Exactly. <laughs> I genuinely appreciate how they're sneaking this educational information about trees in amidst the cool dinosaurs. Yeah, this is like really neat. Ginkgo trees. Now that's definitely a Pokemon, Ginkgo tree. Gotta catch them all. Actually, I think it's a thing in Legend of Zelda. You have to go in the mighty Ginkgo tree. <laughs> Dawn Redwood, she played Marianne on Gilligan's Island. <laughs> okay, this is this is just this one again. Yeah, but with uh, plants instead of like. Oh, I see. Things. We already learned about uh, animals. Now we're learning about plants in the Mississippian. Let's know that fern trees came out of Pennsylvania. Plants in the epochs. Dun 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 dun. So this, I'm guessing, has been updated in a few years. Yeah, but it's how you can really tell we're not in LA anymore. Yeah. Petrified wood is the cousin of Norwegian wood, right? Petrified wood. Okay, not all dinosaurs are Pokemon, but yeah, this one definitely is. Diatrimide, literally through a hole in the foot bones. There's a hole in the foot bones, dear Liza, dear Liza. There's gotta be some hipster baby that is called Diatrima. <laughs> That's gotta be one of Gwyneth Paltrow's kids. Yeah. Honestly, what's great about this is that it's both the Jurassic Park ride and the Redwood Creek Challenge Trail, so you get both resorts in one. Oh, cool. Ah, yes, the grasses. Predators of my favorite band, The Strokes. <laughs> Everyone always talks about the Beatles being kind of like the lodestone of all music. I think it was really the grasses that brought it all together. <laughs> Worship me, the grass god! From Creek. Johannes Fromm. He definitely did some awful things in his time. Yep. There's no way he didn't. Yep. Babe, it literally just occurred to me that we are actually on the Oregon Trail right now. <laughs> try not to die of dysentery, babe. I mean, I try every day, but only some days do I succeed. <laughs> Oh, so that's the, the Old Stage Road sign up there. I wish I brought my zoom lens. Gonna take this town to the Old Stage Road. I'm gonna ride, gonna take this video. <laughs> no, no, keep singing. If this can count as an Old Town Road remix, we'll get millions of hits. <laughs> I'm gonna take this, take my horse to the Old Stage Road. I'm gonna ride till I can't see no more dinosaurs. <laughs> so this is the father of Yertle the turtle, I guess. Or Kellon, the largest turtle of all time. He was the goat of turtles. <laughs> well, as Paul F. Tompkins always says, always nice to see a turtle. <laughs> okay, they got really lazy when they just called this dinosaur Swamp Lizard. <laughs> He's just copying the pose of the panther off the Disneyland Railroad. <laughs> swamp Lizard, wilder than a mile. Oh, hey, hey, look at that little guy just poking his head over. Oh, hey, Perry. 
Look at this little giraffe skinned boy. Oh. Psittacosaurus. Parrot lizard. And here's this big armadillo. Ankylosaurus. This lizard celebrates her curves. This is what real dinosaurs look like. Aww. What a sad face. How does this the face Phantom makes when we're trying to bring him in for the night? <laughs> that is the exact face Phantom makes when we're trying to bring him in for the night. <laughs> and here's this snake-headed boy. This Tim Burton looking motherfucker. Hello, friend. <laughs> the dino with the tearaway face. <laughs> Elasmosaurus. Thin plate lizard. Thin plate lizard. Lizard. Oh, At least it's not a small plate lizard. <laughs> I'm tired of tapas. Mm-hmm. Ostrich mimic. I don't see a dinosaur. Wait, huh, okay. Oh, but our uh, snake face has flippers. Now I know, this is the thing Boba Fett was riding on in the Star Wars Holiday Special. Oh! <laughs> I think we'll be back someday and we'll see Ostrich's face. Ostrich. Mm -hmm. Maybe, is it up in... Is it up in the trees because it's a bird-like? No? I'm not seeing it. It's just... This, this is what they should look like. And... Maybe they're being repainted as we speak. Yeah. You know what, again, we've still seen more of the dinosaurs that are supposed to be here than we were seeing towards the end of Jurassic Park's run. So I like these branches up here. Oh, oh this is cool. I think we're going into Mirkwood. <laughs> now this bench looks like it actually came from the era of the dinosaurs. <laughs> Do not sit, there's precious moss. It has to be like nature wow, but like nature wow. <laughs> we see so little of it where we live. Yeah. Old rough tooth, a dentist's best friend. <laughs> So this is basically the orange vanilla coke for uh, the Tyrannosauruses <laughs> to copy your favorite food right now, or favorite drinky. Just because he was the favorite? Yeah. I didn't know Tyrannosauruses were so picky that they had a favorite food. Ichthyosaurus! Ichthyosaur. Literally fish lizard. A beached fish lizard. Helpless as a fish on land, they often stranded like this during periods of low water. He has seen things, man, that you could never understand. This one's kind of morbid. Yeah. Okay, this tree was definitely designed by Tim Burton. <laughs> Baby Triceratops. Where are you, friend? Oh my god, that is so cute! Again, much like you see off the Disneyland Railroad. <laughs> the dinosaurs, like all primitive reptiles, were egg-laying animals. And, you know, like most non-primitive reptiles, too. Yeah. Roy Chapman Andrews, didn't he kill John Lennon? <laughs> Literally dog-jawed. That just looks like a crocodile. This is like a crocodile and a, uh, a whatchamacallit, a chameleon maiden. Just be lucky you're not Doggins jawed. You can't afford that kind of orthodontia. That's gonna be our kids, hon. <laughs> I know. And I'm sorry. I kind of appreciate, like, with the... with our fish monster over here, that, like, there is some color palette to these dinosaurs. They're not all, like, browns and tans and yellows. Yeah, there's, there's some art design put into this. Yeah. And Steggy. And, of course, the Thagomizer. Mm -hmm. 
baby. I like his war paint. I do too. Roofed lizard. Roofed lizard, named for his salt panels. I think I could describe some of y'all's trolls. <laughs> size of a lot. <laughs> Never scorn the Stegosaurus, munching herbage long before us. Never knowing what his name was, well remembered all the same was long has vanished bone and brain, but his fossils still remain. Fame enduring, eon still, a damn sight longer than you will. Thank you, Mr. Quailman. <laughs> A poem, of course, by Quailman, the alter ego of Doug. <laughs> right, so here is our flying friend. This has always been one of my favorite dinosaurs. Fly, you fools! I love you this much. Winged and toothless, the Nancy Pelosi story. <laughs> well, there's Harry. Now where's the Hendersons? <laughs> We picked a good time of day to come with the sun like coming through the trees like this. Yeah. Eerie ops. Drawn out eye. Modern relatives are frogs and salamanders. But that's. But, yeah, that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that's pretty apparent. Yeah. Is our friend here sinking into the mud? It looks like it. Oh, hey, I think they're the character models for Flotsam and Jets. I'm surprised there has not been an uh, exotic dancer known as Seymouria Butts yet. <laughs> That's my drag name, Seymouria Butts. <laughs> That's the way they became the Bradysaurus. You know, I feel like a lot of these guys were pretty slow, so this one is just yeah. like, uh, we're running out of traits to name them after. Yeah. And here we have the final room of It's a Small World. <laughs> So we loved looking at the dinosaurs, and after walking through the forest, we just knew we had to visit the gift shop and see all the dinosaur trinkets that our parents definitely would not have bought for us if we came here as kids. I'm just learning about all sorts of new character traits. Allie, you found a glittery snake. I did. I love... It's hollow, bitch. Did somebody say arm lizard? <laughs> It's not that easy being green. Having to spend each day the color of the leaves. Prehistoric gardens would be a gorgeous spot to visit even without the dinosaurs. But that's not to sell the dinosaurs short. Both the dinosaurs and the rainforest itself are legitimately impressive to behold. So if you're driving along the 101 in Southern Oregon, you should absolutely spend an hour or so exploring this beautiful trail. Dinosaur.